this is what we're doing. Fun little wobble cards. How adorable are wobble, these? Wobble, wobble, wobble. So wobble. get. I've got two wobbles. <laughs> You've got two wobbles on these. Yes. I do. So we're going to be doing a bunch of these. But I got to read you something. You gotta read I got to read something inside. Okay. Oh, okay. This is for my Karen. This is for Karen. If I had a star for every time you brighten my day, <laughs> I'd have an entire galaxy. Oh, okay. He's looking for bounty points. So if you've been following us on our Facebook page, been posting some interesting questions lately, and we were talking about epic fails today. Um, and I did use Tim as an example. I oh, did yes, ask him first. Did. Hank and I came up with epic fails. Whenever things go wrong, I always say, well, that was sure an epic, epic fail. Thing. And then we made up the word shawoody. Oh, shawoody, that was an epic fail. Um, and so we were talking about Tim's rice that he tried serving um, – Monday Mavens once. And Ellie, I didn't tell you this. Ellie was one of the Monday Maven, Mavens, put a comment on there. But most of the meals that Tim makes are good. And I said, oh, Ellie, okay, Tim will yeah. love your comment. <laughs> and all the, the comments, go, go in okay. and read. It's so fun to read everyone else's comments. And how many times pizza comes to the rescue. Mm -hmm. That's Ooh. happened at our house. Just always. <laughs> so anyway, yes. Um, it was bad. <laughs> it was bad. I forgot to read the part that you said cooked rice, not just raw rice. And the other one announced right away. This is uh, the winner of all of these. And this was uh, another post we just had up. So we're, we just did a giveaway the other day. And these are, um, we, we have just a few paper shares left for this year, but these are some older ones that I found. So you can see how these have all the cardstock in them, and then they go with the paper pack. So very fun. These are going to Carolyn Z. So Carolyn, just message me your address, and I will pop them in the mail. And thank you all for participating. And you like our Irish outfit today? I know. We, just, we both sat down, and we said, oh, my goodness, we're both in green. No, it was not planned. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and let's see. Um, card play is a week from this weekend. I can't believe it. And we are using... For the eight make and takes, we are using, this is actually one of my card kits for orders this month, but we are using that autumn leaves plus nine other bundles. Um, and you can still join us for that. Dear Karen, Karen, dear. Oh, yes. We do, we do have a host code. <laughs> you can always find this at karentitus.com too. <laughs> and you know, that's funny. Maria was saying that she made rice with the chicken and it was so salty. They finished with eating pizza. I think it's hilarious how many people substituted salt, um, salt for sugar. <laughs> it, it just, it doesn't work. No. <laughs> so anyway, it's just, it, I, I just think it's fun to be sharing stories. But before we make cards, we We've are- got mail we've got mail and so we're going to settle in and it's catch been a up while because it has been a while shown. so or just mail. settle in when you, if you come back and watch the replays and want to see the cards you just scoot ahead i i try to put in the replays at what point the cards start but we love to chat over mail yes we do uh, okay let us come down here and we have this is for both of us from Cindy Otten. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. I think, Tim, that's for you hello. in the kitchen. Oh, it oh. is. Green, How adorable. I got, I got many green aprons because I work at Starbucks. But. Okay, and notice, oh, this is adorable. Okay, she's taken that punch. I can't remember the name of it, but you see how she's punched out from the flowers there? Mm -hmm. And then look, she put that on the Ooh. inside. So this is me celebrating that he's cooking. Yeah. So it is for both of us. That is just really, really wonderful. Love that. What an awesome card. Hello. <laughs> and uh, yes, the autumn leaves paper has been so popular and it came back into stock and it's already gone again. So they'll be getting more. Oh, is this pretty? Karen Mercer from Nevada. Look how pretty this is with is. hand done circles. Now you could be a perfectionist and use punches. I love the hand cut out. Um, mm -hmm. It looks very um, authentic. It looks like flowers. Yeah, it looks artsy. Yeah. It looks, uh, you know, like one of those kind of artsy, colorful, full things. Mm -hmm. And what a great project to do with kids, too. But did she that's... do a punch with the leaves? Yes. This looks like leaves. The leaves look perfect. I mean, they, but I like how those flowers. Like they, but they look like a punch. They look, more, yeah, they, they look too perfect. Yes. Now. And they're all exact. Yeah. But I think that's fun. And then fun to see the two shades on all of them. That is just yep. really. Oh, and she's thanking me for her birthday card. 
Oh, I could look at cards all day. This is so we did get enough paper for the retreat kits. Um, and I think Kali said we just have one, one or two retreat kits left <laughs> of, all, of all the things we're waiting on. So uh, from Hope Perales from Georgia. So it would be fun. But you can join us even if we run out of retreat kits. If you are getting the make and takes, you are getting a full pack of that paper. Um, if you want to just join us online, you can use whatever paper you have or get paper later. Oh, oh, this is for my mom. Oh, how fun for her birthday. And I did forget to mention her birthday this year. She turned 99. So next year we'll make a really big deal because it's 100. That is lovely. Oh, so we'll put this aside for her. And this is the card layout we just did the other week. I love that. That is beautiful. Love the uh, contrast there. And the, it's just, that's a beautiful card. And she just keeps on keep on keeping on. She doesn't seem to slow down much. No, right. No, she doesn't. We had her care conference today. And that is why I appreciate you guys going with the flow. We're doing this tonight and we're having issues with her hearing aids. Um, but you know, that's a typical thing. But other than that, she's doing great. Ginger said when she was about 11, she made hamburger gravy and instead of flour used confectioner sugar. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> you know, you know, that is funny because there were a few. Yeah, it's so fun. We had to just go read all these comments. It's hilarious. Kathy Wood from Kentucky. Oh, is cute. Cute, cute. This is that new stamp set with that. Oh, look how cute this is. Yes, from Santa Claus. Um, cut out, and and then she did the two you on there. Oh, that is so fun. I love that. I and she won this stamp set in our. We have a fine line get together, which is my team. And I do giveaways of some stamp sets during that current and everything's current because it's for people to use. So she won that and sent me a thank you card using it. How fun is that? I love it. I, thought, I love that on the inside too. That's I hilarious. thought that was the hat of Santa Claus, but it's a bow on a gift. Yeah. So it'd be a little, little tall. I know. <laughs> that is cute. Oh, that is so neck. fun. <laughs> Oh, yeah. A lot of people are sharing salt instead of sugar stories. I think that's hilarious. Kathy Wood from Kentucky. Another one. Another one. Oh, okay. Oh, am I loving this? This is some, yes, from what Holly did. If you guys are watching Holly, she's doing a bunch of things on hers, handcrafted blessings. And Holly and I work together, which is awesome. Hey there, pumpkin. Uh, I pick you every time. Happy Halloween. How cute is that? That, that is, is adorable. Love that. <laughs> Very fun. And of course, Holly and I are doing the retreat together along with um, Julie Heights might be on here. And um, now, and Deb Witt. I'm talking about a lot of these being like really old. They've been long. That came today. So there's some that are. So we're, we're doing almost caught up. There's probably going to be a couple more, but Christina Colley from Tennessee. Oh, like this with the try. Yeah. With the try things that fold over like that. Isn't that cool? We've made those. Yes. I'm like, oh, so you recognize it. You can do I two do. or three, four. And that, that is really, really pretty. Oh, love it. Beautiful card. And then we have Judy LaMagna in California. Oh, this is pretty. I love how this is embossed in the back yep. and it's red, black, and white. That touch of red is always, always a good cover. Oh, and she's done the inside too. Uh, and she put in a Bible verse. And do you see how this is? Looks like it would be done on a computer. That is such a great way to do anything you want on the inside. And then you can print it out and do it. And a fun note, a fun thank you note from her. That is wonderful. And then, oh, that's a good one. Kathy Boggs used Worcestershire sauce instead of soy sauce in her fried rice and chicken chow mein. Oh, that would be a little strong. Marianne Enns from Washington. Oh, I love this layout too. Look at this where we've got the three and then the middle thing. And look at the pretty mm -hmm. flowers and the thank you. That is. So this one is just the base. That's underneath. Yeah, this there. is all the base. Like and then that. there's three strips and then the flower and the words and that accent. Beautiful. That is so wonderful. Another thank you for a gift that she got. So I said, how fun. Ugh. Then we have Sherry Tackett from Michigan. Oh, and I recognize this. This is one of the... Paper pumpkin cards, isn't that gorgeous? Mm -hmm. I just think the paper pumpkin kits have just gotten just beautiful. And I love this one. That is just really, really pretty. And a fun, fun card for her too, a fun thank you. Oh, love it. 
And I think with the paper pumpkin cards, it's another one that's just fun to be able to have on hand. Vesta Stream from Colorado. Oh, who remembers this? This was a celebration set from a few years ago. This is pretty cool. And then, oh, oh and it flips again. How cool is that? So a double flip. That is very, very fun. And just a thanking, thanking me for the community. Yeah. Love that. Thanking us. Yeah, thanking us. Yes. Because that's my right. name's on there. That's right. That is beautiful. I love that. We'll do that kind of a layout because I thought that's really fun. And it's just so simple. I think that's wonderful. Even when my name's there, Karen still doesn't, you know. <laughs> um, Karen Steinman from Ohio. Okay, let's. Karen to Karen. Okay. Um, oh, fun. We'll just have to figure this out. Um, oh, how fun. Uh, this is another really simple card we did. Look how cool this is. This is just a 12 by 12, 12 sheet of paper folded up. And then she's done the die cut amazing. And see how that folds in and this is the inside? Mm -hmm. That's beautiful. Very nice. Great card. And just doesn't get simpler. And then Diane Schmidt, I'm sidetracked because I could read all these comments, but I have to go back. Um, <laughs> but I have to go back and do that afterwards. Diane Schmidt from Minnesota. Well, this is pretty. I have to see if this is, oh no, this is strips. See, that is layered paper going that way. Isn't that fun? It is. And that's a real um, earth earth tone kinds of colors. Oh, I really like that. Oh, that's so fun. And that is another. Thank you. That's really pretty. Very fun. Oh, I love all the salt instead of sugar. Somebody said her brother wouldn't even eat what she made and he they eat anything. <laughs> Joyce was saying that. Yeah, we get that. <laughs> Julie, carry on from mm. uh, Utah. Oh, this is... This is fabulous. How cool is this? And there's a whole note in there. Um, that is so wonderful. I should really read this again. Okay. <clears throat> oh, and she, well, she is saying in here how much she loves the card play retreats and the All Good Cards Club. Oh, so I love that. And I will uh, read more details about this. But this is a fabulous card. I absolutely love all these yep. leaves. I love the bird. And the bird. And the, that is a fabulous card. And it's like on the, like the notebook paper. Mm -hmm. Oh, that, that is a stunning card. It's a note of thanks. And then she's got the little bird inside. That is wonderful. Yes, there's a lot of talent in this group. And then I have, we have two more here. Well, let's do this one first. This one is from uh, Jerry Stutz. And this is good friend. Oh, who remembers this? I think so. It's fun to have these throwback things. And um, she sent me... Stamp sets to give away. So we're going to give away. She sent me three stamp sets. And this is the one we're going to give away this week. This is from Jerry Stutz. I'm going to put this right on here. Picnic with you. And I thought this just fits. It's the end of I am loving the weather right now. This is my kind of weather. And it's perfect for a picnic. So I just love all these bits and pieces. So this, all I have to do is see your name. So you can um, comment, share, anything. So that is absolutely wonderful. And I'm going to set that aside. And then I have one more packet. This comes all the way from the United Kingdom. Uh, and I haven't even opened this, as you can see. And this is, I hope you're on here, Heidi. Let's see, Sender's name. Uh, but hi, Heidi, and I'm, I'd like to this guess her artist. last name. Oh, so she sent a card for my mom. Oh, I should open this ahead of time. But I thought, isn't this fun? Ah, uh, picnic with you. Yes, life is a picnic. And the stamp set is life is a picnic. Oh, this is stunning. Look at how gorgeous this is. Okay, she's gone the extra mile on the oh, pottery. Pretty. Oh, look how pretty it's it's that stamp. So we've got that good look, and then we've got the the twine and the decoration. Did you figure out where she's from? Well, it came from the UK. Oh, and the inside too. Oh my goodness, that is absolutely beautiful. Heidi, Heidi and Cleo. Um Heidi, give us your last name. I, I want to take a guess at it, but I, in case I might be wrong, but I think it might be in here. So look at, she sent a whole bunch of package. Is this pretty fun? And Sherry says her boyfriend, now husband, made pepper steak for her mom and her, he confused actual peppers for cayenne pepper powder. Oh. <laughs> 
it was inedible, but I inedible, but I married him anyway. <laughs> oh yes, Heidi, it is Heidi Schulroy. That's what I was going to say because that's what I thought it was, and I that I thought. Oh, okay, this is a treasure, so I just have to watch this. What is it? I know. Look at this. Thinking of you. Oh, and this is um from that. You know how you make the book out of the long thing that we did a while ago? Hmm. Now, you're going to notice the card size in Europe is different, which is really interesting. They hit, they're they taller, which is just kind of an interesting thing. Oh, we have a 4th of July card. Oh, look at Whoa. this. Whoa, is that cool? Oh, my goodness. That's really, really fun. No. no. Oh, from, no. Heidi, from down, from down under. Why was I thinking well, this is... Is there a United Kingdom down under? Okay. See, Heidi, that's why I didn't want to say your last name. Because I was thinking you were um, Australia. Where are you from? Let me look I'm here. from Esther Senate on behalf of Heidi. Yeah. But. It, it, <laughs> so maybe. Because I always thought that you were okay. You're going to have to come on here. I hope you're on here. And um, tell us. can come tell us because Heidi from down under. That's why I wasn't going to say your name out loud because I wasn't thinking you were from the UK. <laughs> oh, so we have a mystery here. Oh, which will be solved. This is absolutely so fun. Do you recognize this is the pop of cards we did a while ago? And how cute is that for the 4th of July? That is so fun. Okay. Um, and just a wonderful thank you card. That is so fun. Oh, I love it. Okay, we've got a few more here. Boy, she went all out here. Yes, Look at did. even her envelope there. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Okay, wow. this set is stunning. Look what she has done with this. She is a talented. Dearest Tim, super. you are amazing yeah. beyond oh measure. Oh, thank you. And now that everyone else's birthday is worn off, have a big, get a big one from me. I love it. That is, oh. okay, that is absolutely amazing. That is. A handmade with love, absolutely. How gorgeous. And uh, mm. then I put the book bookmark in thin plastic sleeve so it stays safe. It's printed with re, re, painted with re-inkers. So if it gets wet, it will spoil. And it might spoil your book, so be careful. Um, let's please turn card over. Oh, Tim, look at this. Whoa. <laughs> okay, we got to check this out. So you can tell we don't open things ahead. This feels like Christmas. This is amazing. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I love it. If this is not for me, I'm taking it in. Yeah, it is for you. I love it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Dear Tam. Oh, that is so wonderful. Oh, that is so sweet. Thank and you. I bet this is for me. You. Tea. Look at this with a little tea bag. Mm. Oh, and we're gonna open this. <laughs> Oh, this is, this is so fun. This is like a, you know what this makes me think of? Christmas. Well, yes. <laughs> but how fun it is to give thoughtful little gifts. You know, oh, we kind of just don't do big gifts anymore, but the thoughtful little ones, aren't they fun? And it's perfect for us crafters. Oh, look at this. Tea for me, a tea holder. Oh, oh that is so sweet. And one more. One more. Um, oh. One more. Oh, look at how gorgeous. Now, do you see the difference in size? I actually, I love this size because it gives you more. Yeah, I don't know. I've always just liked that size, but I'm not going to change because our envelopes are set for the other. But that is so pretty. Oh, and another bookmark for me. Oh, wonderful. As I find more and more time to read it. Oh, and another tea bag. Oh, so, oh, so we both get tea. Mm. That is so wonderful. Oh, and okay, she does the extra mile and does all the insides, the inserts. Okay, Heidi, you're amazing. You're amazing. And uh, uh, that will be so fun. We're going to have to sit and look. That is like a happy mail pack. You're right, Sherry. What a cute happy mail pack. That is. Thank you, thank you. That is so fun. Now we're on to what we're going to do today. And first I'm going to show you some of my favorite cards, wobble cards that I've gotten in the past. I think this is just Oh, this is just one of my favorite cards ever. This is made by Heather Klump, who is on my team. And uh, she is an amazing stamper. And a few things, I think, isn't this just cute? Mm -hmm. uh, I also love, you see how she's done her grass? Yep. She just cut it with slits and then bent it over. Yep, and you have to bend that last one over. Yep, and then they're popped up with dimensionals. 
Mm. So this sticks out a little too with <laughs> the turtle. Is that just sweet? Yeah, Love the little clouds and the sigh. Oh, <laughs> anyway, I just think so. Um, and this was one that she sent you when you had your, when you were in the hospital. Really? Yes. And I so thought, oh, we're, save that. Oh. Yeah, in the spring. So I thought we, that was very yeah, cool. We done. Okay. Yes. This one is from Patty Chanel. And look how cute. So who remembers the uh, Darling Donkeys? I think all of these are fun. So even if you don't have wobbles, and I'd like to know who has wobbles here, you can always get them. You can get them at the craft store or, or on Amazon. But all of these would be cute cards without the wobbles. So you can just be enjoying these as card layouts. But so, not as cute. Um, let's see. Uh, what, um, what word are we talking about? Envelopes or envelopes? What, what are people talking <laughs> about? Uh, okay. <laughs> well, the envelopes. Uh, of course. Uh, Pat says, it sounds like me. I bought some wobbles last year, not to figure out where I put them. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Is this what they look like? In oh, in English, envelope or envelope. Yes, Tim and I tend to say things differently. So it's it, it just kind of interesting. These are what they look, like, what they look like. Yeah. And this is the big size. And I really like an in I had some in between size, but I couldn't find mine either. <laughs> so I use this on one is probably a little bit too big. This big. So I use this size mostly. But um, anyway, this is going to be fun. And so if you have the wobbles, a whole bunch of you do use them. These are fun to make cards with grandkids. They're also fun to make for cards because for kids because they absolutely love things that move. But, you know, wouldn't we all? <laughs> so I thought, how cute is that? Oh, and this is another darling, a darling one. This is from Jennifer Helm. And this was Tim's birthday card. <laughs> Look how cute that is with the rhino. Oh, this one really spins. Now, this is a bigger one. These seem to spin better than the ones I have. So I think some of these are like this one, and this one might be a might be a better. This one really spins. It's also large, and I'm just noticing. I'm just noticing it's fine because you see that part right there, but it, it doesn't detract. Mm -hmm. And maybe it makes it spin a lot better. So as you're playing around, do you want to think about all this yeah, kind I didn't of fun? Even see that it was sticking out. But yeah. Sue said she found hers, her pack after she bought another. Okay, that does definitely sound like me. <laughs> and then we have this one with Hey Chuck. And this one is from Lori Callies. I mean, how adorable are these? So these are the ones I have to show. Uh, I just think that these are just, so these are the older ones. And now we're going to make some. All right. Okay. We are going to make in no particular order. We just have a bunch. I love this one. This is showing that autumn paper again, but you see this dancing thing. Now on this next one, I'm going to use the big one the because, thing, and we're going to compare how they the move. The thing is the hippopotamus. Hippo, yeah, yeah, dancing hippo, yes. But I love this paper. This paper is from the autumn leaves. And then on the inside, I put, you are the sunshine that brightens so many of my days. Oh, and thank just you. added. I think this yeah, to I me. I think it's to you. And just added a little more sunshine. I thought, Isn't that just a happy, happy Karen, card? Karen and their tutu and yeah. dancing <laughs> in the woods. <laughs> That's right. That's right. So, so we're, we're going to look one. at our, we're going to make this. All right. So this is the inside, which I could have done. So, um, and we're just doing quarter inch things down, of course. I have like five cards to make here. So we'll have a bunch of, and I, then I started thinking of all kinds of other ideas that would be great. But then it's your turn because you'll come up with ideas and put them in the back porch stampers. And we never run out of ideas. I just love this paper. And I, this just made me think when I was looking, I, I knew that I wanted to do one of the dancing animals. And so then I immediately thought of this because this is where I would dance, Tim, in the middle Ooh. of the woods with nobody around. <laughs> mm -hmm. That would be, because that's exactly where I proposed to you too. I know. This reminds me, and it was an autumn day I know. in the middle of the woods. And How about that? I danced after that. Now, this is what's cool. These are the wobbles. So this is a big one. I have more big ones if we want out on the table, I might send you to go get. I'm going to just put this on the back. I'm going to it's best if they're centered. Some of the things don't work that centered because they kind of show, but I, I'm going to go with her idea. Okay, that rim really should be further down. That one shows too much. Let me see if I can no, take it fine. off. Do you think it's fine? 
Okay, it's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. Tim just says it'll be fine. Because we're comparing how the two sizes of wobbles work. And then you see, this is the back. On the larger ones, they have a, uh, let's see, you can peel off half and half, but I'm going to peel off the whole thing and I'm going to, I'm going to take my, I'll try to get it off this way. I don't know why I didn't have trouble with any of the others. Ooh. And to take that off. And then I'm going to take this one off. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't want to cooperate. Oh, that's too funny. Okay, maybe maybe I need a kid to help me. Okay. <laughs> then well, not me, that's for then sure. I'm just gonna hold this in and I'm just gonna decide where to put it. Yeah, right side up. Thank so, you. So that good. Okay, and we're gonna compare Whoa. these. We're gonna compare. Oh, they both work very similar. Very similar. Yep. Yeah. So I guess they work well. Isn't that just cute? Oh, yeah. Using wobbles in the cards for your grandkids, Rachel says. I think that is perfect. Uh, kind of so you could take scissors and cut it down. Yes, we could or, do that. You're right. Or we could do you that. Could pretend it's got a backpack on. That's true. And add some color. <laughs> but those are both cute. But I also don't mind it. No. I also saw it's just kind of an interesting thing. Um, yes, that old rubber scissors, I could cut the plastic. So I'll, I'll, I'll decide if I'm going to do that, but I just love this. And then the fun words inside. So I think that's very cool. Next, let's do, oh, let's just do this one with a little cake. So again, we're, we're also just kind of looking at card layouts here. So this is going to be really simple. This is a card base. And then I just have a quarter inch down. I'm using the bright and beautiful. So this is four inches across by five and a quarter. And then I'm using some of the leftover right across here just to give it a little different look. And I could have trimmed it off, but I'm not even going to do that. And then we're going to put, let me see, what do I have for blue dots, anything here. What have I got for anything on my messy table? This weekend, I'm going to clean things up. <laughs> have you guys ever said that before? <laughs> have I ever said that before, Tim? I think you have. <laughs> does it ever happen? <laughs> well, does it ever last? If it does yeah. happen, that's the other. That is very I'm true. I'm going to put that. And then here, I'm going to have you put this one on. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah, this is... Did I... I think I must have started that one. Okay. Cupcake. Here, I will take the end off. Okay, you can, I think either side can go on. I usually do it the opposite, but we'll do it this way since it's going that way. And then we're going to take this one off because I don't know that it would really matter. Well, I hope not. Actually, it would make sense to do it this way if I were cutting out part of the other because then it wouldn't matter. It wouldn't be cutting into something. Okay. Whoa, how's that? Oh, epic fail, epic. <laughs> okay. Okay, now you're going to put that in there. <laughs> I'm using the small wobblers, and you can get them at Michael's Hobby Lobby. You can get them all over Amazon. That is cute. I love it. Very all nice. right. Now, oh, I forgot to show. I had one more to show back when I did wobbles before I did some really simple wobbles with this. And I love this. Over the moon for you. Over the moon for you. I did make this card for you. Oh my God. Isn't that cute? It was just a little line. And she's so sometimes, finally giving it to me. But sometimes we just want to look at layouts. And I thought just how simple. But you'll also take it back. <laughs> I'll take it back. Well, I gave it to you before, but oh. I'm really lucky because your memory isn't so good. So every really? card I give him is I've a new seen, card I've again. I've seen that before. <laughs> okay. Oh, look at that one. <laughs> oh, how fun is that? It's moving a lot. And then on the inside, it says, just swinging by to say hi. <laughs> so on this one, we just used um, a smaller one. We talk about measuring paper. I thought this was just kind of fun because, you know, we talk about quarter inches. Well, this goes down a half inch or, yeah, I think it's just a half inch or a three quarters inch. Do you say you could just keep picking anything goes down, but it's still then the perspective is still the same. And on this one, I love this just swinging by to say hi. I thought, who wouldn't like to get this card? And I'm going to put this on the front. 
And in deciding where to put the monkey, monkey, can you see where I made it? Can you see where I made my biggest mistake? I made a couple of okay. mistakes, but right there. Yep. So that's perfect. I'm going to just cover that. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> we can just do that. A lot of layered cards, you know, just. <laughs> Okay. Uh -huh. says Halloween cards would be cute with wobbles. We'll just wait. We're going to do one. <laughs> I have one in mind. Okay. I'm going to put this on. And he's just kind of, you know, swinging from tree to tree. So I just want to cover that up. Oh, I think that is just stinking cute. That is. Okay. Next. Next, we're going to do the double wobble. And you see this one, I did put the big one on and you really can hardly see it. So mm -hmm. should we just do a small one or do you want to go out on the table out there and see if you see, I think I you see the one big ones. Big round ones. Yeah, yeah. And I'll just kind of work on this to, to start with this. So this is with the space set. And I thought, again, this would be just a great card to, um, to give a child, especially someone who's into, you know, into space. I think if that's an interest, I think this is so cool. So for the words on this, I put the reach for the stars right on one of the uh, planets. So this is all fuss fussy cut from the paper. This is a die cut. I fussy cut this one. There are some dies that would fit some of these, but I just plain fussy cut. I didn't even have to dig for it. It's right on top. Good. And I actually, this was from the edge of the paper. So it wasn't even um, wasteful because I thought that's perfect. I'm going to put my... So that's just a little tip. You can do parts of things and put Ooh. your stars there. The moon. You can go ahead and put that on that. Do you want to do this or the space one? Which one do you want to do? You can do the big one or the small one. I want to do the hard one. I want to do the big one. All right. You're going to work on that. I'm going to put this together. My fingernails are inadequate. Oh, wow. That worked. <laughs> He's going to show me up because I'm the one who had trouble. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now, is this, where does this go? There I just did it kind of as far down that way. Okay. I just looked at it that way and hit as much as I could. Okay. You know, if they're off-centered, it's still okay. They're still going to be cute and uh, a fun little, little thing. And then we do the other part. Oh, these are really fun. And these come in nice big packets. So I, I can make a whole bunch of wobble cards. Or a big, a whole bunch of mistakes. Yeah, at any craft store, you can get them or in Amazon. Just look up wobbles on Amazon. So it's perfect. Uh, and we're just kind of waiting on Tim. I'm going to let you place your guy first. Because we're kind of doing a backwards card. You just have to place him. Because he's in the moon. He could be going upside down. He could go any direction he wants. I've actually got fingernails. this time right there. Oh, would you like me to help? Since I'm so good at it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to try for another 20 minutes. <laughs> In 20 minutes, he will. <laughs> and then I'll give it to you. Okay. I know. I just okay. use it. Okay. Okay. I am going to. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> uh, there's a reason we don't create a lot at night. <laughs> I think we're worn out at night. <laughs> but we're so glad you guys go with the flow. Okay. I'm having trouble with the second one, too. I think it's just easier just to get under there and just do it. Good. Okay. Okay. Now, you can make your guy go anywhere. Just keep in mind, I need I room for this. Looking at this, I put it way, way higher than you did. I hope it still works. Oh, well, it's totally, I think it's totally fine. Should we put this below? No, we'll put this up here. Then we'll put this one spinning right there. How cute is that? Hmm. Oh, that is so and, fun. And that is... The astronaut really does wobble. I yeah, love, I love it, it. it does. So I think on a bigger one like that, it is kind of fun to have the big one. But aren't these fun cards? So we're going to do one more. And we are going to do a Halloween card. So we're doing, this is from the same space paper, I believe. So and I love this because it's Tahitian Tide and um, Starry Sky. Are mixing your holidays? And I used the cloud punch and I did some of these same things on the edge. Ooh, so this is so gonna I'm going to Halloween. Put, this is going to be a Halloween card. Mm. So we have dark clouds because, you know, Ooh. it is a very spooky night. Yes. So we're going to put these in. 
I am going to remake this card. When I do a little Halloween, I'll be doing some Halloween things and I'm going to remake a card, maybe just like this. Oh, that for trying to be random, that's kind of a <laughs> not very random. <laughs> Look at this. Now we've got Ooh, our spooky. adorable little ghost. I was going to redo this in the glow in the dark paper. And I thought, no, we'll do that for the next. So I'm going to redo this in glow in the dark to one the other. And then at night, and I think what a fun card that would be to make for kids. So, um, yes. Okay. And I have, I have one here. So you're just going to oh. pick them or they're going to go on any way we decide to go on. Cause these are just, you know, and this is uh, just what they are, but I thought, now these I didn't want to put up and cover. So these are a little, going to go a little bit lower, but that's totally fine. Oh, but this mine's totally not fine because I went way, way off the edge. It's a good thing I have a bunch of these because I'm going to take this one off. Let's see if it still sticks. Okay, well, it's it's all fun, right? Okay, I'll do that one. And... Okay, where are you going to put yours? Oh, I'm going to, I'm putting mine, the first one. Mine's going to kind of be going up there. It's right where I was going to put mine. Right. All righty. You can put the next two, but I'll get this one ready for you, and you can decide where it goes. But wouldn't this be fun to do so easy? <laughs> Marina says, just what she's thinking about, a wobbly ghost. <laughs> so uh, I'll let you know. I'll take a picture with the one with glow in the dark and put on so we can show Okay, got yours. <laughs> Do you think you'd ever be hired as a factory worker, Tim? Yeah. For speed? <laughs> Piecemeal? I don't think. I'd be a cheap employee. <laughs> what do you mean you only did two? Would you like to swap? Yeah. Okay, you can put that one on. You even have it going. Ooh. It's just a matter of getting under there and getting the rest of it off. Okay, and one more. Okay. So wouldn't a kid love to get this card and just be playing around with it? So, so those are our fun cards for tonight, Wobble Cards. And you know what's going to happen over in the back porch stampers. We're going to see a bunch of your ideas. Uh, this is so fun. We'd love that you spend this time with us. Make sure you're on my email list because that's really cute. This might be my favorite. I think that is absolutely cute. This and the space one, I just love. Um, but then you get find out early what we're going to use to be doing that. So, uh, so very, very fun. So good night, everyone. Let me know if you need anything and have a wonderful weekend. Good night. Good night.